So obviously when you are hosting, you're going to want to add a domain name uh, to point to your DigitalOcean server. Um, at the moment, what we've been doing is accessing this via the IP address, which isn't ideal. So in this part, we're going to uh, set up this domain. So in this case, it's just a domain that I have, uh, which is registered with GoDaddy. It really doesn't matter uh, what kind of um, platform you're using to manage your domain. It will work exactly the same. And we're going to attach this domain now. So we want to come over to the DNS part of the DigitalOcean control panel. So over on here, and we can go ahead and add a new domain. So all we need to do is enter the domain name here, choose the droplet that we want to attach this to, and then we need to update our domain name servers. So let's start out by adding this domain. So it's me, alex.com. We go ahead and choose our droplet. So in this case, it's project and the IP address automatically appears just here. And we're gonna click create domain. So once that's done, uh, we have uh, the ability to uh, go ahead and update a few things here. We have the zone file um, and basically the A record is our IP address, but the name servers here are what are important. We need to go ahead and update our domain on our, uh, wherever we've registered our domain. We need to update the name service to ns1 through to 3.digitalocean.com. So I just happen to have these already set up, but uh, whatever you're doing with your domain, whoever it's with, you wanna go ahead and manage these name servers and go ahead and update them to ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2, and ns3. And once that's saved, this domain, once it's propagated, will then point to your droplet. So that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and add records here if we want to. So there's a variety of things that we can do here. But let's go ahead and test this out now. So let's go ahead and switch over our IP address. And there we go. So we're now using a domain instead of the IP address and it works in exactly the same way. And that is how simple it is to attach a domain to our uh, DigitalOcean droplet. Pretty straightforward.